Thank you, Chris. We will see you then. Now, storm chasing has become big business in America. In Tornado Alley, as it's known, teams of photographers and scientists have even started bringing along tourists who pay for the chance to see a tornado. Sky's US correspondent Amanda Walker reports. Through the evening hours, large hail and damaging winds possible. Wheels up and out onto the Montana plains. A storm is brewing. Roger Hill is ready to chase it. Funnel plow, funnel, funnel, off to the west. Developing tornado, developing tornado at 11 o'clock. Roger is one of the most renowned and respected storm chasers in the business. Yeah. Look at the debris cloud. In 25 years of weather hunting, he's seen and captured hundreds of tornadoes on camera. Oh. <laughs> A twister has yet to surface on his latest mission, but Roger's appetite for any form of dramatic weather is insatiable and infectious. I've seen 660 tornadoes in my life, and every one that I see is like the first one I ever saw. One of the clouds in that one flew behind us. While most hope for good weather on holiday, Gail and Richard are hoping it gets extreme. So when Roger comes on the radio and says we're at code red, which means there are storms and they are looking really, really good. And it's, I think it's the moment when you get out of the van um, just before a storm and you can, you can feel that tension in the air that you get before a storm. You can see the curvature of the updraft base right here. And then They've a spent around £2,000 to join Silver Lining Tours for some high-impact adrenaline-pumping storm chasing. It all looks fun, but these situations can quickly turn deadly, even for the most experienced chasers. Roger's close friend and established meteorologist, Tim Samaras, was among the dozens killed by a series of lethal tornadoes that crashed through the Midwest this summer. It, it, it hit real close to home. He always said, he said, uh, if I ever get killed by one of these darn things, it better be an F5. And lo and behold, of course, he was killed by it, and that tornado was an F5 tornado. It was the most violent tornado that there is. All right, folks, it's time to pack up and get going. We're going to get down closer to this thing. Let's go. So that thing is a supercell storm. It's about 10 miles away at the moment. You can certainly feel something in the air. There's a constant rumble of thunder that we're told is hail, uh, big hail developing up above. So the idea now is to get as close to this storm as possible. Here comes a moment the thrill-seeking group have been craving. We are definitely about to go into the ice blender, so get ready. Core punching, the industry term for racing through the heart of the storm, experiencing it from the relative safety of the van, is a tour pilot. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Uh, wow, we just got clobbered with a huge hailstorm. Wow. Londoner Selvin Reed says his family and friends did have reservations oh. about his rather unusual holiday choice. I mean, the obvious reaction was, be careful, what are you doing, are you anything to be dangerous? Because, as quite obviously, they've been influenced by the headlines in the papers where people have been killed. Steve is partially sighted. He's been on eight storm-chasing tours. For him, it's about feeling and sensing the magnitude of the weather around him. It, it's... You, you hear the rumbling of the thunder and everything? Oh my god, it's so exciting. It feels like something's in the air. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yes. These people's backgrounds are as varied as the weather they hunt, but what binds them is a fascination with the elements. As long as there's a storm, their desire to chase it will be irrepressible. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Montana. Well, let's speak to Selvin Reed, who we saw in that report, safely returned home, joins us from our central London studio. Hi, Selvin, did you enjoy it? I loved it. It was a fantastic holiday. Really, the, really good. What was the best moment? I think the first and last days were probably the most uh, adventurous. The first day, there was a lot of, of um, wind and rain, and then the last day, we had the, thun the lightning and thunder and uh, the golf ball-sized hailstones, which uh, Roger was mentioned earlier. Uh, what is it? Is it the power of nature that drew you to it, to, to, to feel and experience that? Is that the thrill? Yes, it is. It's something you can't experience in England. It's uh, quite extraordinary seeing all the, 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 the power of nature is, is phenomenal. You're seeing uh, w uh, cloud formations you wouldn't normally see. You're seeing lightning, you're seeing thunder, you're seeing wind. And you can possibly see a tornado, which is, you know, nature is mo at its most devastating. 
an amazing picture we're seeing on the screen of you, the completely black skies behind. Where was that? Hey, that was the very first day, and uh, that's when you first got the realisation that this is going to be an incredible holiday. You're, you're, you drive somewhere, and Roger keeps you at a safe distance from where the, uh, the, the, the thunder and lightning is. And so you can see, you're right where you are, it's nice and warm, but a couple of miles in the distance, you have this incredible cloud formations, which is where tornadoes can possibly form. Uh, you say you were kept uh, away, but nevertheless, it is dangerous, isn't it? People do die, as we saw in the report. Some people think it's rather foolish to go after this. Did you ever feel uh, in danger at any stage? Only on the, the last day. I mean, Roger's very enthusiastic about the whole thing, but he's also very safety conscious. Um, the waivers you have to sign are quite... Uh, do, do make you realise this is potentially very dangerous, but... Roger is very cautious. He will get you to where you can see a tornado, but he's careful not to put you in harm's way. There was one day where there was um, lightning coming down, and he got caught up in it a little bit. And we were watching the lightning come down, and his wife said, Roger, we've got to go, because lightning was literally coming down with even about 100 feet from where we were. And we quickly jumped in a van and drove off. So you're never going to be in danger. It's close danger, but it's a controlled risk. OK, you do it again? I'd love to do it again, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> All right, Selvin, thank you very much for coming and talking to us. Selvin Reid there, thanks. Thank you for your time. We can find out more about Storm Chasers on Sky News for iPad, as well as a longer version of Amanda's report, chats with the team about how they chase down tornadoes. Access to the app is free if you're a Sky customer using your Sky ID. Some great images on there as well.